A couple of years, Faith No More has been on some monster tours. I mean, Monsters of Rock. Uh, you were with Guns N' Roses. You did the Rock and Rio Festival. So for a point of all that touring and the 18 months that you spent on the road last year, where it just all seems kind of surreal? Well, in certain instances, like the Monsters of Rock thing, things that we weren't really comfortable, I think, is when we start to realize that this is too much. I mean, like Monsters of Rock, we had no business being on that bill. I mean, we're not that? that we're not that kind of a band, I don't think, that gets up there and does the traditional guitar solo sort of rock thing. And like the Guns N' Roses thing was such a huge production. I mean, their whole way of touring was just so massive and so surreal. It was like, you know, a world unto itself. And witnessing that and being a part of that really makes you stand back and say, wow, what the hell's going on here? What's this all about? Are playing stadiums completely out of the plans of Faith No More now? Well, I, don't, I honestly don't think we could ever become that likable that we would ever, you know, play stadiums. Unless we would be opening for someone, you know. Faith No More really did a 180 for Angel Dust. Were you guys at all worried about what the fan reaction was going to be following the success of the real thing? Not really, because I think uh, we were at the point where we sold way more records than we thought we would ever sell on our last record. So kind of, uh, I think looking back at that, I think we're playing more to the people who kind of were into us in the first place. So it didn't really matter. I think uh, it might have been a shock to people, but I think that's kind of what we're about more than not shocking people is like confronting people and confusing people and shocking people. It's good for us. Faith No More's got a new EP out now. What's it called? It's called uh, Songs to Make Love To. Okay. Containing <laughs> what? It's, uh, it's originally started out as uh, to just be an easy listening EP. We wanted to do like music versions and really soft, easy going music. Because it's a really sick, twisted form of music we thought would be a good angle to take for a record, or at least an EP. As it stands now, there's a little bit more than just easy listening. But I think there's going to be about four or five songs on it. Okay, Roddy, let me, let me ask you. Let me get your seal of approval to the song that's best to make love to, as far as you're concerned. Uh, I don't know. I like techno, hard and really fast. Mm -hmm. As far as the EP goes, maybe Midnight Cowboy, I think, will probably work best. All right. Well, that's not really my style. So you can't personally endorse it, but... No, no, no. <laughs> not for me to make love to. <laughs>